Well, parents, we know how hard it can be to adjust to that new academic environment. I know a lot of y'all are becoming the teachers now, but News West 9's Rachel Ripp spoke with one digital elementary teacher to give you some advice. When it comes to digital learning, during this academic adjustment period with COVID-19, digitally savvy teachers recommend collaboration, structure, and breaks. But thanks to tools like these, They'll help parents who aren't familiar with this kind of teaching. Apps like Quizlet, BrainPop, and Google Forms. So now we're going to look at what's called transpiration. The academic world is changing rapidly as we know it. And COVID-19 has pushed that acceleration button. Online learning is what school districts, colleges, and universities around the world have turned to at this time when teachers and students can't be in the same classroom. And for those who haven't had experience with online classes, the learning curve is steep. So taking steps is what's recommended. And that first step starts with your schedule. Parents need to be able to find out what the kids are doing for the day, be able to follow up with them. You need to have a way to be able to communicate back and forth, even with your child. Challenges might arise. Teachers might not see a student's hand raise, but they'll continue answering their questions just like they would in class. A lot of times I'll pull up, they'll say, you know, I don't get how to do stem and leaf plots. You know, I'm not getting it on questions one and four. Well, I might pull up, you know, myself on a screencast-o-matic or um, Loom, something like that. Um, we also have our own program called Adobe Connect that we use in our school. Um, but I'll pull it up, I'll do a recording where I've got the question up, I'm talking about the question, and make it not more than like, you know, two minutes. Digital elementary teaching expert Lynette Crawley has been working from home since 2012. In fact, she lives her life teaching that way. Sometimes, you know, I just want to be able to walk through that computer screen and be sitting there with them. But because she can't, she utilizes several tools to make it feel like she's there. For students who don't have online access, that's when physical packets come in handy. Sitting down might feel like an eternity, which is why they encourage taking breaks. If it's a page of 60 questions, you may need to stop at 20, you know, and take a break and um, have some a list of different ideas of activities y'all can do, whether that's if you've, if you've got um, a soccer ball or, you know, you've got a frisbee. As students and parents get used to this new kind of normal, School doors are closed, parents are the new teachers, but on screen or off, education continues with just a click away. We need to keep things moving for them, um, and learning is one of those things that does that for them. It keeps a little bit of normalcy for them. Now, some of you might be surprised to find out that academic resources are even available on your Xbox, like this application Khan Academy you see behind me. Now, a few companies are even offering those services for free, like Zoom with unlimited minutes. To find more of those resources, you can visit newswest9.com.